All right, we got two bosses left. Only two. It's Nirvana Place. It is Wednesday. And we are going to get stuff. We've got stuff to get before we chase down the X Hunters for the final time at their base. Most notably, this heart piece that uh, we are annoyingly trying to get. Um, So let's see how many times we can fail before we get this thing. Um. And yes, if you're wondering, I am recording all this on a Friday. Xbox pause. Um, using my connect right there. I'm recording this on la last week Friday. I'm recording all this on the 5th to go up on the respective days. Um... Here is what I mean by the freaky bubble weapon stuff. It's kind of awesome. Let me show you what I mean here. Now, if you put on the bubble shield, you'll notice not only can you create damage, You can jump really freaking high. Like old school Mega Man's high. And that's gonna help us get the uh, energy tank and the heart. Which unfortunately I don't get here because I didn't know how, I didn't quite remember exactly how to get them. I have gotten them before. I have gotten every piece of equipment this game has ever gotten multiple times. It's just when you haven't played this game in about 12 years, some things manage to escape you. And I can guarantee you the next couple of videos here is just going to be us grabbing stuff. Because we are not going to the x base without all of our P's and Q's and T's crossed. I can assure you, my fellow Equestrians, we are going... To kick Sigma's ass much easier than we did the first time. And I guarantee I am going to try to get both parts of the Sigma battle in this finale. I can assure you of that. And as you can see, we tried five times now and failed miserably. Um, but here's what I mean from earlier. If you do that animation, it can actually stop 
X, and actually, if you do it in midair, just like I did there, it can actually stop his downward momentum, and it actually acts as a boost. It's kind of a weird thing. I had never done it that way, by the way. That was the first time I had gotten that hard in that specific way. So, now that we got the heart, we can go through, uh, Crystal Snail Stage proper, now. And there's also another piece of equipment that is here. And, yes, indeed, it is the final armor piece. We don't really need it at all, really, just to complete the armor look and I will explain why that is when we get down to that point. Now I've had these weird My Little Pony slash Mega Man remixes kinda in my head. And just to give you an idea, this song right here would belong to a character whose pony name in my head is uh, Crystal Hope. Uh, or Hope if you prefer. She is Cadence's second daughter in my show. And the chosen heir to the Crystal Empire. One day I will explain it all, just like Alyssa, and I will catch you up. There's an old school 90s Nickelodeon reference there. Um, and here's the final armor piece, which is the helmet. It helps you find secret areas. I know it's not really that useful now, seeing that I pretty much revealed. Now, if you climb up on the chamber and you climb into the hole, uh, you can get that extra life. But, there is the Neo X armor in its full glory. So you deal with that puzzle. And there's another Morph Moth Easter Egg in there. So, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and next part of it, we're going to get more stuff, and we are going to battle Crystal Snail here for you in the next episode, so that y'all can... See me fail at that next time.